Happy VA Wednesday. So today we're going to talk about how one of my clients utilized roommates in order to build their real estate portfolio with their VA loan. So we're going to just go by his initial and call him S. Okay. I thought it was really interesting and I thought it was worth talking to all of you about because I think it's something people ultimately don't think about. When you're thinking about using your VA benefit, sometimes people are like, ah, I can't afford the payment yet, or I can kind of afford it, but I still want to have a life. So I'm going to wait. Um, or they're like, I probably don't make enough yet. You know, there's always some level of objection. And what I really like about S is Guys, S is, he hasn't been serving for 20 years or anything like that. He's currently 23 and he's about to buy his third house. So how has he done it? Is he a rich kid that had his parents giving him money? No. Mm -mm. So what he did is this, he bought his first house using VA. He was stationed in Texas. He got total starter home, right? He immediately filled the rooms with roommates. Yeah. And started charging them. Then next year he bought his next house with VA and it was a slightly nicer house. Same thing, filled it with roommates. So first house is already being paid for by a bunch of people. Second house, while well, he's living there, the bulk of the mortgage is being paid. So he's not having to worry about affording the payment on his own or cutting down his lifestyle because he's incorporated the use of roommates. Now he's about to buy his third house with his wife, who was his roommate at one point. I know guys, I know. Um, and it'll be interesting if he fills this one with roommates, I'm betting he's going to. I feel, <laughs> you can, if you're watching this as drop it in the comments, are you and your wife gonna have your own house or are you gonna fill it with roommates? And here's the thing that I think everybody needs to think about. You know, often when you're younger, right? The responsibility can be overwhelming. You know, I can tell you guys right now at 20, could I have handled a mortgage payment on my own? No. 22? Absolutely not. 23? No, no, no. But that's because I was thinking about it as handling it on my own. Now, look, if you go the roommate strategy, do you still have to be able to qualify for the loan on your own? Yes, if you're receiving some level of BAH, often it's not a problem as long as you don't have a lot of debt, right? So the key is gonna be this, no matter how old you are, okay, this is always an option. It's just a different mentality. You know, there's some people who get into using their VA entitlement when they get out of the military because they want to buy in a place they've always wanted to live. They don't want to buy somewhere the military sent them. And that's great. But if you guys are newer in the military and you're like, how can I get the most bang for my buck? I would strongly recommend thinking about this. You know, a lot of times, especially you know, when you're younger, you like having roommates. You want to be around people. You know, at 23, I was I out of college? I don't know, but I'd been with roommates for a long time. So the concept of owning a house and getting other people to help you pay for it is a really great concept. And the fact that with VA, you don't have to put any money down, you know, that can help get you into the first situation. Now, signs this is not a good idea for you. You don't like people. No, if you don't like people, then you definitely want to go the avenue where you're comfortable with the payment and you're happy to pay the payment on your own. Um, another way this would be terrible is if you wanted to live with your friends and they were constantly borrowing money and not paying you back. That is not who you want as a roommate. You know, you're definitely going to want people who are going to pay and you're going to want to do real leases. And if they are military and you have a lease and they do not pay, you can go to military court. But of course you would like to avoid that. So I would say, look, it's a great way to get into real estate. When I was looking at all of his numbers and like some of the equity gains on these houses, I was like, wow, you are 23 and you already have set up such a good chunk of your future. So worth exploring, just another way to think about home ownership. There's no right way for everyone. So roommates can be a great way to get in. Also, if you're, if you're gonna be PCSE multiple times, you know, a great way to pick up a house and also have people ready to take that whole payment over when you move. And if you're not pro the roommate thing, there is other ways as well. We do it every day. So I just thought it was super cool and I wanted to share it with you. Um, questions, comments, as always, feel free to reach out. I am licensed in 48 states everywhere but Utah and Rhode Island. And I am happy to help you guys make sure that you are utilizing your VA benefit to the max 
to make housing a benefit for you, but never a burden. Thanks for watching.